A woman in Hilo is blaming contaminated beach water for a major infection that sent her to the hospital. KITV4's Chloe Markley shares her story. A few days after swimming at Richardson Beach in Hilo, Nani says she started shaking, had chills, and noticed a big red mark under her toe. She says she got scraped up from rocks at the beach and one cut had become infected. And he said there was so much, it was so infected, it was so bad that it filled up a cup of just all, like, pus, just infected. Nani suffered with a staph infection and MRSA. Her foot became so sore she couldn't even stand up. She was in and out of the hospital for the next several months receiving medications and undergoing surgeries. Her foot is healed, but she says the mental recovery is just as difficult as the physical recovery. Nani tells me the infection has stopped her from doing what she loves, being in the ocean. She says she hasn't gotten back in since the infection happened in 2020. She says she's not the only one who has become sick after swimming at Richardson Beach. You know, oh yeah, we had MRSA too, and oh yeah, we had staph infection, and you know, and, and oh, almost like yours, and mine was on my finger, oh, mine was on my toe, mine was under my heel, you know, and, and we kind of share where, where our stuff was, and almost, almost share battle scars to a point, you know. Nani is urging leaders to test the water quality and put up signs if it's not safe to swim. They should be, you know, just keeping people safe. It's a beautiful place to go. Everybody wants to go down there. Everybody wants to go swimming. I don't want everybody to have the experience that I had, you know, and what I went through. And I have terrible scars on my leg. A Hilo resident is involved in a group that is pushing leaders to prioritize water quality around Richardson Beach. She says more studies should be done to find why the water is causing people to suffer with illnesses. She believes the issue stems from the Hilo wastewater treatment plant and its need for repairs. The county really needs, and our legislature needs to start prioritizing monies that can help find the source of what's making our water quality unhealthy for our families. KITV4 reached out to the Hawaii Department of Health and the Hilo Wastewater Division and hasn't heard a response back. DOH says they will provide a comment on Thursday. Chloe Markley, KITV4 Island News.